I've been here about eight years. It's been really good. But now I've decided to move the shop to Port Chalmers. There'll be a pub in a couple of months. I've been a collector most of my life, and most of my friends are collectors. I'm going to miss them coming in every day, but I hope they come and see me at port. I made better money at the freezing works, but this collecting business is a lot more fun. Downstairs is mainly books. Upstairs, all sorts. I started when I was about 12 collecting stamps. And I was going around cutting grass, cutting hedges, just to get enough money to buy some stamps. And they came in boxes and tins and started putting those in the auction and getting money for those. So it sort of snowballed from there. 10 cent stamps. What about 80% of the world's stamps are 10 cents? People collect postmarks, other people collect watermarks, other people collect themes. Themes. Yeah, space. Space. Yeah, space is another one. Oh, that's millions. And then you've got, you got all the dead countries which have been taken over by other countries over the, over the and last few years. And then resurrected ones which yeah. come alive again. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, you get a lot of Russian ones that have been. Yeah. 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 Postcards with um, people on them, people looking for redressing up like they did 100 years ago. Most cars are, most cars are pre-1914 because they were getting printed in Germany and Austria and all that, but they got bombed out during the war. So most of, most of these postcards would be um, pre-1914. A lot of my customers are really passionate about what they collect. I just wanted to get some photos of the, the running gear and the seats and all that sort of thing. They're almost a double tooth, double spacing yes, tooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you look at the chain, you'll see there's not a link, every link, there's linking a gap, linking a gap, linking a gap. Oh, so yeah. it's a block chain. Yeah. You still buy those, they're no problem to get. Well, I got rung up last night about your one. Um, with an interesting um, brake system on it. Yeah. Um, this, this, this is the original um, pump yep. that they would have had tonight. But it's got wooden rims. Right. They sort of stopped about 1900s. Yeah. And the leather seat with the, with the hole on it like that, they closed it up for a number of years and now they've gone back. This one was found in a, in a, um, a barn in, in Palmerston. Right. And it had been there, um, one owner. Oh, thanks very much. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Yeah, yeah. I ended up with all these tobacco tins and all that. Um, started selling them off and ended up sort of throwing the stamp side of it away and going into the collectible side. Lots of great colours with the bigger thing. New jacket. Melrose, Capstan. Get round ones. Square ones. Yeah, a lot of people collect whiskey stuff. You've got Johnny Walkers and bottle openers and these, these are quite interesting. These are cigarette lighters. And um, cups and bits and pieces, but I um, had a lady come in here one day looking for a, a really rare cup. It was worth about $90, but she's only going to use it to display. And I had one, but it was five bucks. And I said to her, oh, there, you can have that one there for five dollars, it's got a small crack in it. And she said, oh no, I'll, I'll give you two dollars for it. So I just picked it up and smashed it, smashed it over the counter. Boy, did she hit the roof. What are you doing that for? What are you doing that for? And she stormed away at the door, got her husband. He came back in again, this poor wee guy. So I said to him, you must be that lady's husband because they look a bit bloody henpecked. And he said, oh, and I said, don't, don't even start. I said, two dollars, I wasn't even going to muck around. She came back in again saying, did, did, did you tell him off? And he just sort of looked at her and disappeared out the door and she went out after him. But never to be seen again. Great. Not everything in the shop is beautiful. One guy came in to pick up something his wife had put aside. 
I've got a book you know, um Stand behind you. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, that's over here. Yes, I know. Everything hasn't sold. Hey? I envisage something quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite nice to get it washed up. <laughs> Jesus, that's shocking. <laughs> oh, I've got to take that home, do I? Yeah. It's a birthday tomorrow. Well, yeah. I've got to do something. Yeah. What else you got this year, Wom? I've got one piece in the shop there, not one. That's not even a. Yeah. I don't think it's even green marks or black mark yet, yeah, so it's. $15? Gee, this one's high over the top. Probably is over the top. But this is the octagon. Right, <laughs> true. <laughs> it's hard to explain the buzzer collecting. You know, people come in here. It's like they're on a quest. They just really want to find that thing. And if they do find it, then sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're not. Makes me feel like a drug dealer. These, these are right in, in 1984 when the Funho was closing up, thing like that. These, these were issued then, so like that. So the, this new old stock that's oh, right, that color, something like that. Yep. And 35, what's that? 25 years. I get a real cross section of people in the shop, professionals, artists. It's one of the best things about the job, meeting people. First, it's the first answer phone. That camera's first answer <laughs> phone, yeah. I know, I love you it. Quite a lot of the phones. Yeah, I've never uh, seen one like this. It's the first one that the telecom had. And so that you can just plug this in a little Well, bit. it just came out as a plug. Well, where does that go? Well, this, this would have gone. question, that would have gone on the wall. Well, this was gone into his switchboard and his wall from mine, yeah. It'd be powerful. Well, I, I, uh, yeah, a bit dusty. Mm -hmm. right? That's, That's 40 good. bucks if you want it, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I do, actually. Yes, hi, uh, David. Can buy this. Oh, sorry, no, I was just looking. I'm just This is quite nice. This is a 1930s dolls um, you wash base in the hand and all that sort of thing. You don't usually get in this old, and this is a good order. It's actually been sitting where it's been sitting for you know, 70 years. It's actually left a mark on the bottom, so not. So, um, oh, I haven't been in here for ages. Oh, look at this. I really love the look of that little sort of um, that folk art one. Can I have a look at that? And it's just, it's a, just a wee sort keep, of yeah. keepsakes on it. We're quite a digs with it, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna keep on having a look. Yeah. This is a gorgeous glaze, isn't it? Yeah. He was a real scientist. I mean that's actually a good buy. That's OC's one. Yeah. See this is actually adorable. Yeah, it's and it's gonna be designer actually in the 76 to 80. Yeah. So is that really that's actually that's actually a major piece yeah. for forty-five dollars. That's you know, doesn't matter. That's actually a really important piece. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. I think oh well, it's good you come back and pick because you know. Yeah, and you're off to Port Chalmers. Yeah, I'm going to do three days here: Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Well, wonderful. <laughs> hey, good to see okay, you. Thanks, okay, thanks. Okay. Yeah. Bye. 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 See ya. Okay. Bye. Hello. It made in 1952. Quite having to get hold of some of that. And also the head back blades and post holes and it's got the original steering wheel that's usually broken off it and the front's usually fucked around a bit but I had about four hundred of these Tiger toys, funo toys and all that. Sold them in Dunbar Loans for sixteen thousand last year. Probably cost me about twenty thousand now to go. It's going to be hard to leave the shop. It's more than just walls and shelves. It's where I spend my time. It's where I see my mates. I've already got some. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. What's that one? Post a telegraph. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you.
Oh, Dave, they're nice, aren't they? Am I picking the right ones? Yeah. Oh, God, they're gorgeous, aren't they? I haven't been able to get any. That's that's the problem. That's my main hassle. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, they are good to know that. Well, I'll come back in after I pick up daughter because right. she's got to go to R&R. &R. Right. And, uh... Well, if you work out how much right. I owe you... Got right. it. And uh, I'll come back. Okay, thanks, Bert. Cheers. Cheers. You could be looking for stuff for 10, 15, 20 years and you come across it and you go, wow, this is great. And then you take it home and you think, all right, what am I going to collect now? Because you found it. Fun's... A bit of the fun's going to have it. We've got a big club in town, Collectors, Bottle and Collectors Club, Togo Bottle and Collectors Club, and uh, there's about 60 members, and they're out looking for stuff all the time. And it's, uh, I think most of them think the same thing. When they find the stuff, it's, ooh, okay, we've found it, what's next? God, I've been looking for that one. Two more days to go. Ah, should be right. I don't know. Yeah, it should be right. People come in here, looking for stuff, getting stuff. It's been, um, been all my life I've been doing it. I've had to do it for another 20 to 30 years. Because uh, collecting is a bit like love. Well, it's probably the second most passion. It's, um, it's all over the world. Everybody is doing it. Um, yeah, it's, it's good.